All right, so the next thing we want to do is um, we're going to add acceleration and deceleration because in most games when you push the right or left arrow, um, the player does not instantly start going the maximum speed. Usually he accelerates or decelerates even if it's a very quick acceleration or deceleration. Usually there is some sort of acceleration or deceleration. If you don't want to add acceleration or deceleration to your game, then just completely ignore what I'm about to say. But um, usually you'll add some sort of acceleration or deceleration because it, it, it makes the game harder and it's an extra mechanic and it's it's just, I would do it. I mean, most games have it, so I would just follow the bandwagon. Um, so um, the first thing we want to do for this is we're actually changing what this means. Instead of this being the speed of the player, it's actually going to be the maximum speed of the player. So it's not always going to be going three, obviously, because there's acceleration and deceleration. So we're going to add a new one called move. Or I like to call it move. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I'll just call it move. Um, uh, and what this is going to be is the current speed of the player. So this can be anywhere from zero to three, while this one is always going to be three because this is the maximum speed. So we're going to go to our conditions. In order to do this, um, we're going to change what these mean. Um, so we're going to start a new condition, do always, and we're going to drag one of these down. And we're going to edit it so that it's um, the... Uh, X position of the player is always going to be set to the X position of the player plus values move. So instead of only when right and left is pressed, it's always going to be uh, changing based on what move is. And that doesn't mean it's always going to be moving because move can be zero. So that if it's zero, then it's not moving. So we'll set that condition, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're adding to this, and we're going to, so we're going to insert, and we're going to insert that if uh, multiple values, compared to one of the multiple values, we're going to do if move is lower then the maximum speed if move is lower than the maximum speed and every insert time every let's do uh, three milliseconds or centiseconds whatever you call three hundredths of a second um <coughs> um Every three seconds, every three milliseconds, um, it's going to add one to move. So that means while the right arrow is pressed, um, every three milliseconds it adds one to the to the move attribute. So edit, and we're going to change this to actually wait. We have to do a completely new condition because it's a completely different thing. Um, so delete that condition and delete this one too. Um, we're going to do alter values. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. Um, and we're going to set move to move plus one. So it's just like the position only with the alternative value move. So it's adding one to move. Or if you want, you can just do add to move. Actually, I'm going to do that. That's not player. So I am really tired. It's like it's late and I'm doing this. Probably shouldn't be. So add one to move. There you go. You can do it either way. It's just simpler. Um, and now we're going to do the same thing with the left arrow. Only we're doing if it's greater than the speed times negative one. So if it's greater than the negative speed, so if move is like greater than say negative three, because that's what our max speed is right now. Because that means uh, because when it's going left, then it's going to be negative. 
So do times and then do parentheses, negative one, parentheses, like that. That'll get you the negative speed. If it's greater than the speed, minus one, and then we're also going to do this one every three milliseconds. Uh, it's going to alter our values, subtract from, move is going to subtract one from move. Now, we've got our acceleration, but we still need our deceleration. Because now, if we test it, if we go right, it won't stop because we haven't added deceleration yet. So in order to do that, we're going to do also every three seconds. So this one will be accelerating at the same rate as it's decelerating. You don't have to do that. You can always change this to something else. So if you want it to decelerate slower or faster. Um, and we're going to do if repeat while the right arrow is not pressed and insert if the player compared to one of the alterable values if move is greater than zero so basically it means if the player is moving right yet the right arrow is not pressed, this is going to happen. And I accidentally put that there, just move it down. Um, so we're going to do a new condition, and we're going to do... Actually, we can just copy... Uh, no, I'll, be, I'll do it again. Uh, less confusion. Uh, subtract from move 1. So... Every three milliseconds, if the right arrow is not pressed and it's still moving right, it's going to decelerate. And we're going to do the same thing down here, only with the left arrow. And if it's lower than zero, it's going to add one. So let's test it. And boom, we have acceleration and deceleration. Now it's not very noticeable. If you want it to be more noticeable, you can just change this to be something a little bit more, like say 10. Just copy that. Ah, copy that. Well, no. Um, let's see. Now the acceleration and deceleration is a lot more noticeable. So you can make that whatever you want.